Hello and welcome back to NAS Compares and today I want to talk about a brand new Synology. Get ready for the name, it's a long one. I want to talk about the Synology Rackstation RS1619RPXS. Let's go. So I'm assuming you caught the three videos that came before this, but nevertheless I'll praise you real quick. Um, in Germany and in Taiwan, over the next three to four we in the next three or four weeks, we have got both events: Computex 2018 and CBIT 2018. All of the big brands in NAS and indeed in all technology will be at these events. But Synology NAS have got their own standalone event happening at the same time in both locations. Hmm, coincidence. Um, so in Taiwan, what's happened is with their event, they've released some of the products that are going to be at this event, and one of them is indeed this rack mount. Once again, the RS 1619RP XS which is insane. I've said that to the camera and not read it off of there because that is one ugly ass model name. But what do we know? Well, there's not a huge amount we know about this device at this stage. In fact, the graphics you see on screen are actually from a completely different four bay device, the RS818. But the chassis is pretty much the same and same as the redundant power supply there you see on screen. There's the two chassis both featuring in the XS model that we're talking about today and this older model are very similar indeed. It's only really the connection of that expansion that makes a great deal of difference. Now, from what we understand, and this device arrives um, with four bayers on the front, which makes it the only excess standard, which is kind of the elite Synology NAS, arriving in such a small amount of drives. In fact, the smallest till now was the DS3018 XS, a desktop NAS. And this four bay has leveraged everything in terms of power and future proofing than it has in storage, which is happening a lot with Synology. Well, there, there's not many devices that are middle ground. Most of the Synology range asks you to either pick large amount of storage or large amount of power from the off and lets you have things like expansions and upgrades to the internal storage at a later date. Very few devices give you a good leverage of both. And in the case of this, they've definitely gone hardware support and long term than they have storage. Of course, you can add 12 more drives later with the RX1217 or the 1217RP with a redundant power supply, which adds another 12 bays, bringing up to a total 16 bays of storage. And I mentioned the word redundant there about 8,000 times. That's because this device um, arrives with a redundant power supply. What that means is when the device is in operation, it's got two PSUs built into the rear, both plugged in, and in the event of one of those PSUs failing and dying, the other one will pick up slack you know, exactly the same time letting you pull out the old one and replace it. In terms of replacement, it's worth mentioning because this is an XS series NAS, it also arrives um, with five years of manufacturer's warranty from Synology and Synology's replacement service, the SRS, which means they will do advanced replacement of this device when it breaks down in that period. So a huge amount of support and that great five year warranty. Now, things that are new about this, apparently arrives with a PCIe slot as well, which means things like um, 10 GBE, 40 GBE, uh, M2 SSD cache with the um, M2 D17 and M2 D18 NVMe version are available. But that said, apparently this device has got NVMe uh, drive support already built into it. Something that I've only ever seen in the DS918 Plus and the very recently mentioned DS1019 Plus. Um, now, with regard to the internal hardware, big question marks on this. We can only really go with what we've seen so far in other XS NASes. So I think we're going to see either a solid Pentium, like a Pentium D, uh, which is a dual core 2.2 gigahertz CPU, or they'll go flat out with a Xeon like they did with the DS3617XS. I hope they go Xeon because this will really pack a punch. I know it's only a four bay, but still that's a huge amount of power. And right now, if you only want a four bay rack mount, your only option is the RS818, and it's a bit tiddly with that it's Atom CPU inside. Apart from that, other things are more, you know, speculative. USB ports and LAN, will there be four LAN ports? I think there will. But right now, the back of this device is going to look pretty busy, what with the PCIe card and the dual redundant power supply, but it's been done before. And with this kind of hardware and software, there's no denying that it's going to arrive um, after the release of DSN 6.2 when it's officially released, and this will support everything. It will support Plex. Why on earth you'd use this for Plex is beyond me. But it will also support Virtual Machine Manager. It will support CRM and CMS systems. Large-scale surveillance with IP cameras and the drives inside. It supports 
it will support SHR and BTRFS, but they may pull BTR, BTRFS from this as they have done with some enterprise level units. Never quite sure why, but nevertheless. Um, it'll also support traditional RAID levels, RAID 0, RAID 1, RAID 5, RAID 6, that sort of thing. And of course that RAID will expand over the expansion units you connect with it. But the device itself, you know, I think is very interesting. It's probably going to the least attention of all the devices out there because it's so focused on the hardware that for people to invest a large amount of money because i reckon this device is going to start at 1200 probably closer to 15 like that ds3018 uh, xs it's a lot of wonga for four bays of storage and there's no denying it that this should have some great hardware under the bonnet when we know more we'll of course release some follow-up videos here on span tv and the nas compare article in the description below gives you all the most recent information about this device between now and Computex and CBIT as it gets upgraded and of course at Synology's own private event. So if you want to stay in the loop or learn more, subscribe here or subscribe to NAS Compares or both, be nice. But otherwise, I hope you enjoyed this. Click like and if you've got a question about these devices, why not send it to me via Twitter at RobbyOnTheTube. See you later.